So I shopped for a laser for almost two years. It, lasers have played an integral role in my business for a long time because of the Cats Moses magnetic dovetail jig. I used to rent time on a Trotec machine, which is a very expensive but very nice laser. And it was really frustrating because I'd have to travel about 12 miles and pack in and out everything. Parking was terrible. And so I'd end up wasting a whole day just sitting there babysitting a laser. And I knew that it would be important for my business, but I didn't realize how big of a difference it would make. If you're considering buying a laser for your business, I, I highly recommend you pull the trigger immediately. They are workhorses and they do what you need them to do. And they are a fabulous addition to any shop, whether you're a sign making shop, professional woodworking, furniture maker, lasers make a big difference. Now, one of the problems that I had in pulling the trigger on getting a laser was the lack of information, the lack of reviews, and that was really frustrating for me. You know, every time that I would look something up, you'd have these bad reviews that were just really from customers who were frustrated because they couldn't figure it out or, you know, uh, something broke during shipping and, you know, they didn't contact the company or something like that. And then you'd get good reviews and you just really couldn't tell. So I have had this for about three and a half months now, and I wanted to do a comprehensive review of this Best Cutter 150 watt laser. Now, I wanted to show you some of the things that I have done to generate revenue for my business. And my business has several parts and YouTube only being a small part of them. Uh, I sell products, I engrave things for customers, I sell templates. And you know, for example, I engrave these huge sheets of the Cats Moses magnetic dovetail jigs. I engrave the new Cats Moses stop block. Now this is great, it can't cut aluminum, but anything that is painted, anodized, powder coated, it can engrave in. So I got the, both of these are anodized, the front piece is anodized red, and then I engrave it on the laser. Um, I've also done things like bar keys. This was a mess up, um, but we will, custom engrave anodized products. I believe actually this one's powder coated. And then I'll, <laughs> I love doing business cards. Business cards are so fun. I'll show you the other side, but it has my phone number on it. And I know how you guys can get anybody texting me at three in the morning asking if I'm still up. Um, I also make templates and these are awesome. They sell really well. And it's great for people who are trying to do woodworking projects that, you know, they just don't want to deal with the hassle of printing out a paper one and trying to sand it down to the line. They just want to get right to the nitty gritty. And what's so cool about this laser and lasers in general is the kerf is so small that when I have multiple templates that fit into a very specific place, I can cut them out individually and then send them with the template so that they can remove different pieces to get that shape when they're making their woodworking project or trace it out. So very, very handy and a huge difference from the CNC is the kerf size. I mean, we're talking less than 0 0.10 of a millimeter and that's with the medium lens. This machine has multiple lenses for different size lines, but that's just like your standard all around engraving and cutting lens. So let's get into some of the specs of this machine, my likes and dislikes. And we'll talk about the features that it comes with. And I'm just gonna tell you in advance, it's gonna be a very positive review. I've been using this thing for a few months and we run it all the time. It's a beast, it's a workhorse. So um, we'll talk about you know, all the features and you can make an informed decision, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm very happy with this machine. So although this is a Chinese laser, when you start to get into it, you realize that they've upgraded a ton of the parts to really high quality components, including the stepper motors, the guide rails, very stout and strong. Um, you can run it up to, I believe, about 600 millimeters a second, but I find that anything over 350, you start to lose steps and you can lose accuracy. Uh, it has an autofocus feature, which works great. I've found that it's a lot faster for me to use just a focus block, which is 10.9 millimeters for the medium lens. It's just a little bit faster. I mean, not by much. Uh, and the autofocus goes up and down and will run this little guy into your part. So if you have something that you don't want moving or you know, getting a little pressure on it, like if you're doing cloth or glass or something like that, it would be easier to just autofocus it. The machine comes with everything you need, including the compressor, the CW5200 water chiller, as well as all the hosing to connect the air extractor and all of that. The compressor runs right through the nozzle through here, and then there's an adjustment knob back here for controlling the airflow, depending on what you're cutting. I believe when you are like, for example, cutting MDF, you want that air cranking to keep it cooler. And then on some 
acrylics, you want to turn it off, which gets you a cleaner engrave. I have a video. These mirrors are great and super easy to adjust. I have a video, which I will link right up here in this corner, uh, on how to align them and get superior accuracy. The laser beam as well as the red dot which you can see here uh, are run through a beam combiner which is really cool and that's definitely an upgrade and that helps make sure that the laser and the beam are in the exact same place which makes alignment really easy it's also really easy to adjust this nozzle if it gets out of square ever um, which you know has happened to me a couple times if i forgot to tighten the bolts and then ran the autofocus and then it would just obviously adjust itself which was my fault but once i got that cranked down Everything worked great and was super easy to adjust. Let's talk about some of the accessories that come with this machine and I'll, I'll show you everything and how it works. Okay, so when you get the machine and you unpack it, the machine itself comes with a lot of accessories. The toolbox has everything you need for assembly as well as changing out lenses, filters for the water chiller. It's got double stick tape for laser beam alignment. Uh, and all the wrenches and Allen keys that come with it. It also has lockout keys so that people can't use it while you're not in the shop. Uh, and in general, I don't think, except maybe, yeah, I don't think that I had to use another tool when I got this thing to put it together. Uh, it also comes with all the hose for the fume extractor, the water chiller, and the compressor. So let me show you those. This is the water chiller. It's the CW5200, which is the big one. Comes with a 110 volt, 60 hertz air compressor, and then this air extractor. This isn't the, the greatest air extractor in the world, uh, but I'm gonna hook up a dust collector to it and run it through the window. I, I haven't had any issues, and I think where you can really tell on a laser if you're having issues is if you're having to clean your lens a lot, it means it's not removing the smoke from cutting MDF and that kind of stuff quick enough and it's allowing to it's allowing it to create soot on the lens. So these accessories are great. One of the best parts about this laser is it will not run if the water cooler is not on. It has an alarm in it and if you try and run it, it just will not fire the laser. So that's a that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, the laser tube itself is a 150 watt laser. It's rated at 130 watts with 150 watts peak. And so far it's performed at the same power and performance as when I first got it. I believe they're rated at 10,000 hours, uh, but so far I've had zero issues. The machine itself has pass-through doors on both the front and back, so you can run large sheets of material through it that are bigger than the three by five bed, or I believe it's 900 by 1300 millimeters. There's a drawer down here that catches all the garbage that falls when you're cutting things. Uh, and in general, it's really easy to adjust the machine. You can get under here and adjust the steppers for the table to adjust the bed height and make sure it's square. Again, like I said, I have a video, check the corner for that one. It also has a beam combiner so that the laser and the laser beam are super aligned. One of the things that the Trotec I was using had that this doesn't, and I don't think a lot of machines have is a square 90 in the corner that you can use for reference so the way that i've overcome that is i just put square lines in my jigs when i make them either here on the laser or on the cnc that way when i am aligning it i can move the beam and follow those lines and make sure it is square uh, the table itself has a 12 inch adjust height so it's really easy to adjust and the autofocus will actually do that automatically for you if you're using the autofocus but with 12 inches you can fit just about anything here including a fourth axis or really tall objects and you can also control the speed that it goes up and down very easily inside the controller so let's talk about the controller the controller for the laser is the i'm gonna probably say this wrong it's ruida ruida controller and it's a little difficult to learn right at first but it does all the controls you need it's great uh, the one thing that you need to learn is that the up and down in the menu is actually different in some menus so some it's the up and down arrow key whereas if you're inside a file that you're lasering the menu is actually going to change which menu option you're looking at instead of the arrow keys so some of it takes a little doing but honestly after about 20 minutes of using this, you know what you're doing and it's pretty easy to get around. Uh, does the job great and again, no issues whatsoever. One of the great things about this machine is just the quality of the parts that they've upgraded on it. Like all of the latches are very high quality. They feel very strong and tough and they're not gonna just break over time with lots of usage. The main circuit board controller here has a big on off switch. You can control the compressor and water chiller. 
and that turns those on. You can control the red dot, turn that on and off, and then you can track the milliamps, which is great. There's a knob here for manually turning down the laser, but I've found that it's best to just keep that at max and then control your power through the software or the controller itself. So let's talk about performance and customer service. One of the things that I have really liked about this company and that I was terrified about buying a Chinese laser was customer service. Uh, these guys actually have warehouses located in the United States and they have United States based customer service. Uh, I had a problem where I couldn't get the laser to cut and engrave like it should. Um, you know, this at 150 watts, this should easily do three quarter inch plywood, three quarter inch acrylic. Uh, and I just couldn't even get the results. And it turned out that I had put something together wrong. I had, I had installed the lens in the wrong part of the nozzle. Now it already comes the way that it should. But in my infinite wisdom, I thought that I should check that and I ended up putting it back together incorrectly. Uh, they fixed it for me really quick. And in fact, the president of the company was driving through Santa Barbara on his way to their warehouse in LA and he stopped by and helped me, which was about the coolest thing in the world. And so that was really cool. Uh, they also have a warehouse in Florida, so it's really easy in the United States to get these. They actually let me pick mine up, which was cool. I'm not sure if they do that for everybody, but uh, that was very nice of them. So we went down and picked it up in LA and. I uh, actually learned that U-Hauls do not have bolts attached to the frame. So that was a very scary drive and I probably should have had it shipped anyways. Uh, when it comes, it's in a huge crate. So uh, if you are on the receiving end, make sure you have a forklift handy. You can rent them for about 150 bucks a day uh, from a, like a local rental yard. And if you don't have one, highly recommend. But they have lasers that start, I think, at 5,000 bucks uh, and work their way up from there. As far as value goes, this is about a $12,000 laser, and uh, they have them in all ranges in between, you know, $5,000 up to $25,000. But for the value and what you get out of this, I mean, I would buy this any day over a Trotec. It's not worth it to spend that much extra money just to do things a little bit faster. I mean, as far as quality goes, you can control all of that in the software. And... Uh, the only thing that those really high-end lasers do is maybe an imperceivable increase in quality. I mean, to me, I don't notice a difference, and I have used both extensively, uh, but they are a little bit faster, and that's really the biggest difference. And is that worth 40000 extra dollars to you? It's certainly not to me. And this has been an absolute workhorse. We run this all day, every day. It makes us money, and it was one of the best investments that I made for our business. So if you are on the fence about buying a laser and you're terrified like I was of buying a laser without really understanding what you're getting, um, I can highly recommend this one, and it really has made a difference in our shop. So uh, check them out. I've linked their website down below. Um, they are, uh, this is an independent review. They did not give me this laser. So um, I highly recommend you go check them out. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos if you're new here. I know lasers are not my normal topic, but if you like woodworking, this is the place to do it. We do have some CNC and laser videos out occasionally, uh, but also a lot of woodworking. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.